Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. This is your first time tuning into the channel. Please do subscribe. A thumbs up or a comment below in the video would be really appreciated. So we we know who we're going to be playing in the last five games of the season. We know where we're going to be playing, what times they're going to be on. And this is a massive, massive five games to get us the league. Now, the one that everybody has been focused on is the, the Rangers game on the first of May. But let's talk about the game we had before that. The first game after the split will be Ross County away at Dingwall the 24th of April, half two kick off. Rangers will be playing Motherwell away before that. So we're playing Ross County. Last time we went to play Ross County in Dingwall, we got that iconic stoppage time winner, Anthony Ralston, with the header 10 men Celtic got the crucial points when Starfield got sent off that night. Look at they're a decent team, Ross County. At the end of the day, we did hammer them 4 0 a few weeks ago, but Malky McCoy has them going up in the table. That was a team I tipped to be relegated, but look, at, it's going to be a tough one. First of May, let's talk about it. potentially the title decider. I know I done a video last night talking about Scott Brown and welcome back to Celtic Park. Folks, if I have a something on my mind and Celtic related, I'm going to do a video on it. I don't care what people say, yes or no, you know, but um, first of May. Let's just get them done and dusted at Celtic Park. Let's get three victories over them in the league this season and be laughing. And then just, it'd be like deja vu when we beat them 2018, when we hammered them at Celtic Park when James Forrest scored that day as well. The famous PC Lustig, that was unbelievable. So it could be a bit deja vu to that. Hopefully we'll um, cement the title in the second fixture. So that's the 1st of May. That will be a midday kickoff. It'll be on Sky Sports. The third game is going to be Hearts. Hearts at home. That is on the 7th of May. Which 12 o'clock kickoff as well. Very similar to Rangers. You know Hearts are on good form this season. The third place in the league. Looks like they're going to cement that third place. So won't be an easy game. We should beat them. Last time they came to Celtic Park. We did beat them 1-0 that night. So that was literally before Christmas. Let's just get over, over and done with. Next one after that is Dundee United away. We went to Dundee United four weeks ago in the Cup and we got a good result there. And then earlier on the season, we got a good result as well. Time Rogers Roger scoring, Scale scoring, Turnbull scoring. So I'm optimistic we can go there and collect maximum points. No problem there. And then the final game of the season, which I predicted on the podcast, was going to be Motherwell at Celtic Park at home. Kind of very similar to what happened to Ronnie Doyle's final, final game. We went out and scalped. Motherwell so look at optimistic that we can win all these games that are in front of us I know some fans are saying take game, take one game at a time I completely agree with you but every time Celtic win you just feel the title's getting closer and closer and the emotions are getting the emotions are all over the place you know your stomach's doing somersaults but um, the game that we're all thinking about is the 1st of May but Ross County Dingwall tough place to go as we know we can go out there just if we have to just scrape a result, just get them three points, we can do it. But look, at the boys will be on confidence after hammering a few weeks ago, 4 0. So I'm optimistic. Let us know what you think of these fixtures, the way that they're all set out, and the times as well. And roll on the 1st of May. Hell, hell.